Hey guys, Skisa Looms here. Today I'll show you how to make the Hexafish bracelet. So, let's get started. So, to set up for your loom for this is you're going to take um, one bar pin and you're going to take your large base and you're just going to place that as much as you can in the middle. Um, wait, I'll just redo this one. So you're going to make sure that you have three uh, pegs free like that. Then get your next one and place it like so they're aligned. And we're going to be using these six pegs. I'm going to get your small bases and just secure this one. Don't mind my snapped one. Um, like that one. Okay, so now we can get started by placing the bands. Okay, so for this you're going to get six, well not six, I don't know if it's exactly six but you're gonna get some bands that you're like not gonna use because we're gonna cut them off at the end so just get some of them and you're going to place them in this order so you're going to place it in this peg and then you're gonna twist it like this And then you're going to place it in this one, twist it, and then place another one, and twist it like that. And then you're going to twist it here, and I'm going to put some more. And then do that in this rectangle. Like that. So you should have something like this now. So now we're going to get your first colour. And then you're going to place it on all six pegs. Like this. Place on all six pegs, push down slightly, and you're gonna do that one more time. So, I'm gonna get another color. And place it on all six pegs. Wait, I'm not that color. And then you're gonna place it on all six pegs. And then, you're going to grab your hook and then you're going to grab the bottom two bands only these two just the bottom two cut up and over and you're going to do that on all the pegs you're, so you're just looping the bottom two bands over Like that. And um, can I get this one? Okay. Then you're gonna push down. Now you're gonna get the color. So, um, if you're making this hex of fish, I I like to use three colors. So because the way I like to use three colours, so the band you just looped over, you're going to get that same colour and place it on. That's why I like to use three um, uh, colours for this. Now you're just going to, instead of grabbing the bottom two, you're going to grab the bottom one band. 
and cut over. Bottom one, cut over. Do that on all the pegs. Does not matter on what um, order you'll put these bands in, as long as you'll put all of them. Like that, and then again, since I just flipped over orange, we are going to place another orange on. And then flip the bottom band over. Wait, I'll be right back to see if I can get better lighting. Okay, there, I think that's better. So, yeah, I'm just gonna look the bottom band over. Like that. And push down. So, um, this part of the hex fish is really easy. It's just like six fish tails and one fish tail, basically. So, I'll show you this a few more times. So, again, since I just flipped over neon yellow, I'm going to place another neon yellow on. And then, grab my hook, grab the bottom band over. like that and since we just looped over teal we're gonna get another teal band and place it on our six pack and then just loop the bottom band only over And then since we just slipped over orange, we're going to place an orange on. Because we don't have orange anymore, so we need to add an orange again. And I'll six packs. And then our next band we place on will be neon yellow. And just the paint over and hit me Okay, so this is going to be the last time I'm showing you how to make this. So, need my neon yellow. Place up and then look the bottom band over. Like that. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go off camera to finish mine. Um, if you're still confused, then please go ahead and rewind. Um, so, yeah, I'll just go off camera to finish my hex of fish.
Okay, so once you did like quite a lot, it's gonna start to like bunch up and then it's gonna look a bit like crazy there. So you're just gonna like flip it over and then like grab the bands that you put on like at the very start and just like pull it. And then your bracelet will form. So you can see it's starting to form. The more you pull it, um, so if you play, the more bands you place, like the more you pull it, so it will be a lot longer. Because if you don't pull it, then um, your bracelet will look weird and it will take longer to make. And uh, if you do pull it, then it will take less bands than you think. So, yeah, I'll just go back off camera. <coughs> uh, so once you think you're done... I'm just leaving this as a keychain or something. Um, you're gonna want to end where you have two, um, two bands left on each peg. So you just um, so now um, now that you have two bands on each peg, you're gonna grab the bottom band and look it over like you did before. Sorry, don't have that good of. Can't oh jeez, that did not focus well. Wait a minute. Okay, I guess this is better. So yeah. Like this. So now you're gonna grab. So you're gonna run it like this. You're gonna go to the top right corner, grab the band, and then place it into the middle. And then you're gonna place this band. And so you're gonna go to the top left corner and place it on the bottom left corner. Like this, and then you're gonna place the middle, the bottom middle one, um, into the one beside it. Okay, so now you're gonna get the next color in your sequence, and you're going to place it on all of the pegs that have bands on them, like that. And then you're going to grab all the bands that are on the bottom. So, there should be two. And this might be a bit tricky. I recommend holding the orange band down. Put two bands up. And then do that on each peg. Like that. And then you can just stuff this one oh, there, and then you're gonna put these side ones into the middle one, like here. Push that down, and place this other one up. If you want a bracelet, you'll attach your C clip here. If you want a keychain, well, if you if you want a bracelet, you'll attach your C clip to all these bands, and then take it off. Um, if you want a keychain like me, you're going to get your next color in your sequence. And then you're going to place, and you're going to slip knot these bands so put them on your hook 
and then pull a band. We're gonna fold it. And you're gonna pull a band through everything on your hook and then we climb. You're gonna push this black band over the front band. So stick the, the bottom one and over and hold tight. You can take your hook away. Okay, so now this part is gonna be the trickiest part of the whole hex fish. So you're gonna um so this is the band that you slip knotted or added your this clip or C clip on and then you're gonna flip it over so we're just like crazy. Then you're gonna stick it in and now you're gonna see these two bands, these different colour bands. You're gonna make them all face one pin like that. And then you're going to uh, get them with your hook. That may be a little bit tricky. Make sure you get both of them. Like that. And then you're going to um, place them on the pin they were facing on. And you're going to do that to each one. So just grab that one. Place this one. It's a little bit easier off camera to do this. And then place it on the pick that's facing on, and you're going to do that to each one. So you're basically just replacing your hexafish back on. Like that. I don't have too much to do. So, yeah. Um. Like this and the pen. This is probably the most tricky part of a the hexafish. And I'm on my very last one, which should be very tight. So. Okay, so I'll just go off camera to do this one, because it will take too long. Okay, so once you did that, once you placed all your, replaced it, you're going to, you're going to grab some scissors. You're going to grab your scissors. You don't need scissors, but you can just, you can just, like, rip them off. Like, snap them off. You're going to grab all the loose bands and just cut them Let's cut 
this. And more than last one. Okay, there. So now you're going to make sure none of the bands on the pegs are overlapping. Then mine aren't. And then you're just going to grab the bottom one, the bottom band like we did before, up and over. There. And now we're just going to do the exact same thing we did to this part. So we're just going to do this band, place it here, grab this band, place it here, get this band, and then place it there. Push down. And then grab next band in your sequence and place it on the pegs. And then get the bottom band, the bottom two bands on each peg over. Just there shouldn't be any bands on the bottom middle peg. And then you can just lift this bottom middle and back over. And then I'm gonna really put this here. There it is. Band in the middle as well. To attach your bracelet together, um, you're gonna get the C clip that you attached on earlier and attach it onto these bands as well. Um so if you just want a keychain like me, then you you just do the exact same thing that you did before. And let's get your band, the second band in your sequence, or the next band in your sequence. Band in your sequence, and then you're gonna pull the band through everything on your hook, and then you're gonna reclaim it, and then push the back corner, of the front one, and pull tight. And that's your keychain or your bracelet done. Uh, if you just want like one band um out on one side, then you're just gonna like go to the side you don't want. The other one to be on, you just go inside of the hexafish and then you just tuck it in like you're doing with the broom. And you snag it onto loads of bands. And then if this still sticking out, you can just cut that band off. There, and then you can push it in with your hook if there's any parts still sticking out there. Now you have your keychain and your bracelet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Goodbye.